Okay, today we're partnering with newsrooms all over the city to tell stories about homelessness. It can be a complicated problem, but that doesn't always mean that a solution has to be complex. For a group recovering from years of turmoil and addiction, staying clean and sober now involves lacing up a pair of sneakers. Here's King Five's Ted Land. I just needed to get out of the dark hole that I was into. Some of them used to run away. A lot of us ran from, from the law for, for many years. Or, or it may, it maybe not even just the law. A lot of us ran from just life responsibilities in general. Now they're running toward a goal, a life of sobriety and stability. I ended up on the streets from heroin addictions and alcohol abuse. So I, I came here needing a life change. Scooter Souls, one of the members of Team Mission, a group of runners within the Union Gospel Mission. Many of them spent time in its recovery programs. I was homeless and in active addiction. Um, with my 11-year-old son. Felicia Sadowski's come a long way from those days. She and the others are training for the upcoming Ragnar Northwest Passage, a grueling 200-mile relay race that takes teams from the Canadian border to Whidbey Island over the course of two days. And we had someone who did the Ragnar last year who, from the program who said he felt like this is the first time he ever felt like he ever accomplished anything in his life. Peter Anderson, a mission manager, helped form the team about two and a half years ago. Okay, grab both toes. They train at the crack of dawn every Saturday and run 5Ks and longer races throughout the year. We believe that we go farther together. Uh, we can go faster together. We can do more together. Team Mission helps participants rebuild their bodies after, in some cases, years of abuse. Started with walking and then, before you know it, I'm running two or three miles with them and and then, before you know it, I'm doing Ragnar. She now has a home, a good job, and a reason to keep moving. It's changed my life. Oh Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for uh, giving us healthy bodies. Ted Land, King 5 News.